Well, welcome back. And what we're going to do in this video is examine where do you place a information security uh, group within an organization. So we'll start off with large organizations. Large organizations, InfoSec is typically under the Information Technology Department. In other words, the CISO, the Computer Information Security Officer, reports to the CIO. And if you look at the University System of Georgia, that's the structure uh, that we have. We, we have the CISO as a direct report to me, uh, and then we work together to ensure the uh, security of the university system. Uh, you can do it different ways, and we're going to, in this video, explore different ways of uh, placing that organization. Uh, the second bullet there uh, uh, talks a little bit about uh, the InfoSec programs can sometimes be at odds with the goals and objectives of the IT department. And, and while that's true, it's really a matter of alignment and balance. In the end, you've got to do risk management, and you've got to convince the leadership of the organization on what the risks are so that an appropriate decision can be made. So uh, if you've got a well-performing organization, they're not going to be uh, at odds. Uh, as we uh, look forward, this talks a little bit more uh, about uh, the uh, May coming into conflict. There are different models that are out there in terms of reporting structures, and that's what we'll look at in the next couple of slides. But again, the, the, the classic role is for the CISO and the CIO uh, to have alignment, and uh, uh, when you have that alignment, it works really, really well uh, because there should be a uh, shared purpose in protecting the organization. All right, so um, now we're going to come into these kind of memory charts, <laughs> a little bit hard uh, to look at, but what you're trying to do is look at these charts and then try to figure out, well, where is the security organization? So in uh, this particular chart, you can see the CEO is right up here. You can see information uh, technology is here. And under information technology, you have information security with its various groups. And you have a dotted line, meaning that there is a management committee, so there is some shared governance oversight of that particular organization. And again, this is one of the options. Uh, this is probably, in, in my opinion, the most uh, dominant or prevalent uh, option that you're going to see out in an organization. Uh, if you want to look at some uh, additional options, here's one where, again, you've got the CEO here. You've got information uh, uh, technology here. And then you've got security over here under administration services. And when you do it that way, notice they've grouped physical security in there and personnel security and safety in there as well. So it's a very different uh, type of a structure. But again, you do see this in some organizations. Uh, it's not as common as a uh, reporting to the uh, CIO, uh, but it does occur uh, in, in, in terms of structure. Well, let's look at a different uh, structure. Here in this particular case, again, you've got the CEO uh, all the way up here. You've got administrative services here, and you have information security uh, over here with the subset of those security uh, principles. You've got physical security under legal. You've got pers uh, personnel security over here under human resources. But again, another place to put this with the dotted line up to your management committee uh, is under administrative services, but to have information security as its own uh, special uh, group. Uh, finally, when you uh, look at this particular group, <coughs> again, you've got the, the, the uh, CEO here, but you've got an insurance and risk management group, and within that risk management group, you have information security. Uh, so again, a different way of looking at this particular structure uh, and uh, looking at what the various options are. Now these aren't all of the options that are out there. Let's look at one more diagram here. All right, race me, race me, find it, find it, can you find it? Uh, in this particular case, the CEO is up here. You have a strategy and planning group. And within that strategy and planning group, you have information security with uh, some components with a computer emergency response here and your system contingency uh, planning over here, and you would have other components actually over under information uh, technology. So 
that gives you kind of four broad uh, pictures in terms of, uh, or structures I should say, in terms of how you might organize uh, your information security group. Uh, there are lots of other options when you look at those other options. It could be under legal or internal audit, help desk, accounting and finance through IT, human resources, facilities management or operations. So those are some pretty odd uh, structures, but typically what you're going to find is that it's aligned under the CIF. That's the more traditional model. It seems to work very well. Uh, but for certain groups, these other structures are all viable. They all make sense. It just has to make sense within the uh, uh, organizational culture that you work in. All right, well, this concludes this uh, uh, video of looking at where do you place uh, information security uh, groups, the CISO, within an organizational structure. We looked at four different options and looked at these uh, kind of five, or, or I'm sorry, six other big options uh, within that space. We talked about some of the considerations in terms of that. Again, you want to be consistent with your organizational culture. Uh, during the next video, we're going to start looking at the components of a security program and uh, the, the needs uh, within an organization of, of, of how you structure that. So enough for now. I'll see you, or at least you'll hear me, in the next video.